what it is, what it is, what it is to be having fun on my CBR fucking 1000 double R out here in the Ohio country. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Psycho Cruiser videos brought to you at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I love it, baby. I love it, I love it, I love it. Top five cons to a super sport. Or should I say even super bike that I'm riding right now. You know, I did a video not too long ago talking about how small bikes are awesome. You new riders out there can have a good time. They're low maintenance, everything. Cheap to own, cheap to insure, everything. But let's talk about, you already did a video on Super Sport Cons, but this is the top five cons I wanted to do. Number one, these motherfuckers tempt you to speed. Not the bike's fault but i tell you that's like dangling crack to a fucking crackhead and, and saying here smoke me you know what i'm saying that's what the throttle saying to me it's like saying bitch just quit being a little bitch on me man crank the throttle and and hear me roar hear me scream that's what it's saying man the bike's telling me this it's telling me this, man. It's saying, quit being a little bitch. Stop poking around on the throttle, man. And give it to me hard. It's hard to resist the temptation, man. I absolutely love fucking speedy. I know some of you guys say, Psycho Cruiser, you're slow as a motherfucker. It's because I'm doing motor vlogs, man. If I go too fast, a lot of times, it, it, you get to pick up a lot of wind noise. You can't hear what the fuck I'm saying. But I speed on this bitch. Ah, uh, it would have to be closer. I speed on this bike though, just but I don't do crazy speeds. Number two is these bikes are really kind of expensive to own, especially if you're under the age of 25. You're gonna be paying through the fucking asshole. I tell you, that's one reason why I didn't get a super sport when I was like from 18 to 24. I price insurance on that bitch is like three, four, five thousand dollars a year, especially down in Florida. Fuck, man, Florida. I tell you, that's one thing that's cool about being up north is we have much cheaper rates for your insurance. Uh, you shit on this bike, even though this is a hell of a lot more expensive than my WR two fifty R. Um, I I pay uh, only pay five hundred dollars a year, but I'm over the age of twenty five. So it's a hell of a lot cheaper. But even if I was under the age of 25, it's still going to be a hell of a lot cheaper than you guys down in the warmer states like Florida, California, and whatnot. Um, I mean, there was some guy that told me they quoted him a figure of like fucking like five, six thousand dollars or something a year, which is absolutely fucking crazy to spend on a on a motorcycle, man. Shit, even though it's worth it though, to be honest with you, because fucking riding a motorcycle is fucking awesome. These super sports, it's instant fucking adrenaline rush with the throttle. Like I said, it's like crack. You know what I'm saying? I never smoked crack in my life. I never took any fucking drugs, so let's clear the air on that. But it's a high that I, a natural high that I get like I'm busting a nut or something, you know? But I tell you, so number three is these motherfuckers get hot on a hot ass day. That's why you see me riding right now in the evening because it's cooled down. During the midday, it was fucking hot as hell today, man, and humid as hell. But this, these bikes heat up. The Super Sports heat up, man. Although this bike isn't as bad as the 600 double R I had. 
Uh, but this bike heats up. I mean, they get up to like 220 degrees. You can feel it in your legs, especially if you're wearing leather. On a hot day, sitting at a light. That shit gets hot. Number four. Uh, maintenance. I mean, although you don't have to do a whole lot more maintenance, the only thing is they eat fucking rear tires. I mean, these bikes, you're lucky to get, uh, you know, on the Q3 that I had, you're lucky to get 3,000 miles out of a rear tire on that bitch. Lucky. Probably more like 2,500 miles, especially if you get on that throttle. That's why I switched to these Pirelli, uh, what you call it, these Pirelli uh, sport touring tires, which, by the way, if you want to get a good deal on it, I'll include a link in the description, the comment section of this video, or go to my website and uh, click on uh, my deals. Uh, de excuse me, deal of the week. I have a link in there where you can get a, a, a deal on a good set. But they eat fucking rear tires, man. And if you change your own tire, it's not that bad. But you have to pay like $60, 50 to $75 to have somebody change a fucking rear tire. And, uh, you know, especially if you, you rack up a ton of miles. I don't do a lot of miles anymore because I really don't have that much time to ride as much as I did. But if you rack up a lot of miles, that's a lot of rear tires you're going to be replacing on this bitch, man. So, but like I said, you got to pay to play. Like they tell you guys, you got to pay to play. And that's one reason why I don't fuck with the street legal dual uh, dirt bikes. You know, like the KTM 500 EXC, you know, those high maintenance dirt bikes. They just did, you know, just a, all that maintenance that you got to do on those bikes. But, uh, that brings me to number five. Uh, number five is that they don't hold their value that well, man. Uh, if you buy it brand new in its first year, you pay full MSRP on this bitch, like fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars. You drive off the lot, you done lost like three, four thousand dollars right off the bat on that bitch, man. And it's going down, down, down. Uh, after probably like five years or three or four or five years, you're talking about it's going down. You probably don't even be able to sell it for no more than probably eight, nine thousand dollars. So, uh, I mean, that's like six, seven thousand dollars loss compared to a Harley Davidson, uh, which hold their value very well. They're expensive as fuck, which in my opinion, they're grossly overpriced, but they hold their value well. So you can't really hate on the bike. They hold their value pretty well, especially if you buy uh, a great pre-owned one. It's in excellent condition. Uh, it'll hold its value for a, for a long period of time. And, uh, I mean, there's just bikes out there, you know, Harleys from back in the 70s that are worth good money right now if they're clean and taken care of. So that's the drawback with these, uh, these uh, especially these Japanese super sports. Seems like BMW... Uh, hold the European bikes tend to hold their value a little better than these Japanese bikes but uh, hey that's just the way it is man that's why I always get a you know get a sick deal on my bikes I always buy it you know uh, get it off the showroom floors when it's been sitting on the floor for a couple of years like I did with this bike this is a 2012 I bought in 2014 and I only paid $8,999 $9,300 out the door with the, the dealer fee Plus taxes when I went back home to Ohio. But that's dirt cheap. It was actually the cheapest price in the entire United States of a fucking America. So, definitely uh, worth the, you know, in my opinion, though, these are the best bikes, in my opinion, these Japanese super sports, because they're, they're the most reliable. And parts are easy to come by. Super sports are awesome, don't get me wrong. Even though I'm naming the cons. The pros, for me, the pros outweigh the cons because I just love the adrenaline rush that I get on this bike. And uh, I just, I really love this bike, man. I love all the super sports. It's just fantastic bikes. But anyways, guys, if you want to see more of my videos, my more of my top five videos or top three videos, go to my website, cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, my videos. And I have a top three and top five video playlist along with other video playlists. You might want to go check out. Maybe you'll find something that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, subscribe to my All of One Motorcycle channel. Hit thumb. Holy shit. We got a motorcycle accident here. Damn. Oh, shit. I hope he's okay. But, uh, that's all I have for you guys. 
hopefully that guy's okay man so until next time i'll catch you guys later check out my other channel psycho cruiser motor vlogs where i discuss anything and everything not just motorcycle shit